Así es. financial decisions, especially with the new collective bargaining agreement that occurred last year. It could really have severe penalties as the Denver Nuggets get on the board first. Well, there's another sort of amnesty in the stretch provision where you can still cap, uh, still a cap hit. But what it is is if you waive a player, you can pay it out over two times the remaining of the contract plus. And a rare transition hoop now by the Knicks. Jordan Hamilton knocks down the shot. Jordan Hamilton who was the first round pick of Dallas last year in 2011 and traded. He played 26 games with the Nuggets last year, started a couple. Yeah, he's looked good from the perimeter. Let's have a good screen to free him up. Farrakhan, very favorite, playing in Mike D'Antoni's system. And that's another big topic about whether you're talking about Felton or Jeremy Lin. Both had success with Mike D'Antoni's system. It is a different system with Mike Woodson. Yeah, it's a little freewheeling on the Dan Tony, but he's, he's like caught in between, as they say, a tweeter. He's not a one, he's not a two. And that's why he has to try to find his niche. But he's a good defensive player. He's been a little tentative on the offense. Out there. Hamilton, nice drive, and puts it in. Hamilton's got eight points, four for four from the field. Yeah, he's been feasting with that jumper on the perimeter. Hamilton. Hamilton was saying again last year he was a first round pick. He said when they didn't have the summer league, it broke his heart because he really felt that was a chance for him to show for a lot of rookies and free agents. And then he had his rookie year in the NBA, which he called a humbling experience. Uh, he was a humble enough, you can see he's worked on his game. Here he is again. He's a double figures. Backcourt responsibility that time. One of the guards should have been protecting the backcourt. He lost about 20 pounds, they say, in the last couple of months. Wants to make an impact. Goldkamp to drive, and it's foul. Let's see if we can see where the guards are. Who made the, who was the culprit? See, no reason for guards to be inside. All big guys there. Russell. Smith not protected. One of those guys must protect the backcourt. One opportunity to catch on with the NBA team. Right. But sooner or later, they must face reality, Mike. And uh, fortunately for a lot of the guys, they have uh, a college degree. So they have to go on to plan B and pursue whatever they majored in in college. And uh, they still have the memories. Can't take that away. The different countries they've seen, the different cultures. Also trying to follow their dream as a ball player. Reed misses. Rebound. Taken by Hamilton. Hamilton looks terrific. Carter. Shot won't go. Smith the rebound. Loose ball foul. He's going to go against the Knicks. Well, perfect example of that is. What is that song? Took some time to go taste of honey. It's the worst thing I've ever Hamilton. Another impressive move from Jordan Hamilton. The goal camp can't finish. Hamilton at that time. Inside misses. Hamilton keeps it alive. Tries again. Blocked but foul. Goal camp hit him. Wants this to argue, and the female official says, "Be quiet." Yeah, this is where the Knicks have been mauled on the glass. So resounding rebounding this time by. The Nuggets right there getting third and fourth opportunities. Hamilton continues to thrive, so he's at the line looking for two more. Gold camp picks up the personal. I find this the first time I've seen you since the finals. What was your uh, overall feeling of what LeBron James did in the playoffs and then in the finals? Yeah, he wanted to really dominate this league, though. No one could really guard him. I thought he augmented his game with the post up, started to post and toast. Minute and a half remaining here in the second. Jordan Hamilton's been the star of the first half for Denver and does it again. For he just got his hand away. Yeah. 15 points in 15 minutes from Hamilton. He's seven of eight from the field. This one is tied with Copeland as the next leading scorer through the first two games. A little over 12 a game. Very exciting first half here. 
see this sissy now, both teams. Off the turnover, did you just say very exciting first half? Yeah, you didn't see the other two games. <laughs> <laughs> He's a figure in the locker room that, you know, we all need. And, uh, you know, somebody who's got to bring some discipline and some accountability in the locker room. And, you know, I'm glad that the Knicks brought him out here uh, supporting the Knicks in the summer league as well. What did you have to say for the Knicks to take the next step? Uh, they made the playoffs, got knocked up by Miami. Now to, to go deeper in the playoffs and to compete with the Heat. What's the key area that, that has to happen? Well, you know, uh, we always talk about, you know, the short season. Had it been 82 more games, we would have probably been in a different season to see Miami, you know, in a lighter <laughs> Are the younger players that are coming into the league today, are they that much different than when you came in? Uh, yeah, they're a, lot, a whole lot different. Um, you know, they're just into a lot, you know, a lot more things. And I think that uh, social media and entertainment has expanded and it has allowed, you know, younger kids to really find their voice and who they are, you know, uh, and the hobbies and the things that they like at an earlier age. Well, we're all waiting, I guess, for the, for the uh, decision, but Again, just your thoughts on how big of a story this has become. Well, it's been a huge story. It's on him and knowing that he had problems in Portland. He made it clear he wasn't happy. He was stunned by the trade when the Knicks sent him to Denver. Do you expect this to be a redemption season for him? And you've talked to him recently? Definitely. You know, Ray's one of my really good friends. And if you look at his stats when he was in here, he's finally made. All the big brass has gathered here, so they'll try to make the right decision. Oh, what a pass. And Hamilton Reed. To Fareed. Fareed has been terrific. 16 penetrating and devastating off the dribble. All right, I think I might have to agree with you. There's been some exciting moments in this. Ball oh, knocked away. Fareed out of a grand goal time. Yeah, take a look at the ubiquity of Fareed right there. Nick's not finding him back door. They had one deal and they came back. The, the initial deal was for four years. And that's really the big problem. And that's the, the hot topic. The, the first deal had around $5 million the first year, $5 million the second year, and the third and fourth year, around $9 million each. You know, it was 